Great. Well, I'm Sally. I'm Abby. And <laughs> we're going to do a d double act. So um, we're going to tell you a little bit about, um, for those of you who don't already know, well, firstly, always a question, has anybody heard of Daria here? Yes. Great. Great. So I don't need to explain that. So we're going to tell you a little bit about uh, the Daria um, Libraries Working Group, and I'll tell you why we put it in inverted commas. And then Abby's going to tell us a bit about, about the, um, a workshop that we're uh, co-hosting with Daria at the Library of Congress um, in October. Great. So um, towards the Daria Libraries Working Group, and we think one of the issues is that all of the labs and this sort of thing is that there is still sort of this little fault line between libraries and researchers and how can we sort of work more closely together. So our idea in this libraries working group, and we need to come up with a better name for this, um, we're co-coordinating it with maybe some of you will know Tara Butigan from the um, National Library of Serbia. Um, we want to have an equal number of librarians and digital humanities researchers. So that is the idea to try and really break down those barriers between libraries and researchers. Um, we're working in close collaboration with uh, LIBE and they are now Digital Humanities and Digital Cultural Heritage Working Group. Um, so we want to, to make sure that there is a good, uh, a lot has been to some of the events that we've been organizing. So what are the working group objectives? There's three, so to facilitate dialogue between digital humanities researchers and librarians, and these, all these labs we've been talking about may be the ideal place to do that. We want to understand what the barriers are to the use and reuse of digital cultural heritage collections in humanities research. And the digital is also, we are not exclusively digital. So the idea of digitally enabled analog aware. So we want to be able to sort of cross that divide too. And talking to various different libraries, one of the things we want to do is facilitate sustainable uh, reuse of digital collections. So from many of the libraries that we've been working with, it's always done as an ad hoc solution and how can we help that make it sustainable by connecting things into dif di various di different digital library systems. Um, as part of DARIA there is a European project called DESIA and that's nicely DARIA Eric Sustainability Refined and we were very lucky uh, as part of that project to get a work package looking at three international uh, DARIA workshops so we have the first one today uh, in Stanford University, so it should be starting in around four or five hours when everybody wakes up there. Um, that's three days there. But they've got a hashtag. Yes. We could, have a hash we could have a hashtag. Swap, yeah. 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 <laughs> that's on the next page. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, then Library of Congress, which Abby will tell us about a bit more in a couple of weeks, and then Australia, probably at Flinders University in Adelaide um, in March next. So, if uh, anybody's in Washington, D.C. in early October, you are all invited to come. Uh, but the, um, the, uh, our version of the workshop is sort of uh, focused on collections as data as a topic. Um, our keynote, keynote speaker is Jason Rohde, who's, um, he used to be a, a part of the Digital Humanities Group at the National Endowment for Humanities in the U.S., which is a big funding um, agency. Now he's um, uh, at these, uh, at the Social Science Research Council in New York City. Um, and we are having three knowledge ex exchange sessions and panels around um, digital newspapers and textual analysis. Uh, <coughs> we're gonna have uh, people from the Library of Congress uh, who have been working on our Chronically America project, um, and the APIs and the bulk data downloads, and then also sort of helping users use, use that content. Um, and then also some representatives from, yes. from the Daria project. So maybe it's the Newsi project that somebody will know about it. Uh, Mikko Tolinen from Finland is coming, and also the PI from uh, La Rochelle, is it? So the, he's also coming. And then for, on the web archives front, we're having a, um, a, a Trevor Owens and um, Abby Grotke, who are um, working, working on stewarding that content at the library, again, with um, a few others. So. 
Yeah, we've got Kees de Selski from the National Library of the Netherlands coming and uh, she's joining, uh, she's involved in here for Olga from the IIPC, is uh, actually participating via Skype today, so she's interested in being involved too. Great, and then the um, final session is around public humanities and this sort of fits into um, a couple of streams. We are, um, the Library of Congress is launching a, a, a big crowdsourcing platform um, to sort of involve the public in, in um, transcribing some of our materials. Um, and uh, it's going to sort of fit into um, other public work that um, folks are doing. The, um, and then we're going to uh, finish everything up with a sort of hands-on session around collections as data. We're, um, and the sort of, we're going to break up into groups, and the first group is going to talk about preparing collections to, um, to work as data. So um, what, is that, what does that look like? Is it item level made metadata, rights level metadata for items, um, machine readable, readable content? Um, and then um, establishing a community of practice around, um, around this work and then uh, in doing experiments. So we're hoping to break up into groups and see what the possibilities for collaboration are um, around those topics. The, um, and then the to two links there are links to the event page where you can register if you want to attend or, um, uh, and that's where sort of more information will be um, posted on the hypothesis um, page there after the event has taken place. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, we're a bit tight on time now. Can we have maybe one quick question or save it for later? <laughs> so I have a, a comment and a question. So uh, one of the questions I asked in the infrastructure group this morning was, is anybody making heavy use of any like supported infrastructures in this sort of like EU infrastructure kind of context. And, and the answer was kind of no. Um, and so uh, I guess I have two parts of the question. One is, you know, is, is that a thing that uh, people who are responsible for these infrastructures are well aware of? Mm -hmm. And then I guess the second part is um, just you asked the questions everyone heard of Daria, and there was pretty good response there. But I think if you would ask the question, do you know what Daria is? Yes. People might not have put up their hands. Yes. Yeah. And I wonder That's if you can give us the 30 second, and by the way, in case you had forgotten what it was, this is it. Yeah. So the first question, I th well, I think we don't know that people aren't using We know that there needs to be a better between cultural heritage institutions and people working with Europeana as well to see how we can improve that. But I think we are not aware of why people aren't using it and what the difference is. And Daria, for well, Daria is difficult to describe. Um, we're trying to work better on that. But the idea is that it can be a network of people. It's a social infrastructure to try and bring people together. So at the moment, it's 17 countries. Uh, six more coming on soon and to try and leverage everything that's going on in different countries and bring it together at the European level in terms of data, tools and infrastructure for digital humanities research. I think that's 30, 30 seconds. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thanks.